Before proceeding to the following sections, let's ensure we understand what is a separately derived system. A separately derived system refers to an electrical power supply output that, unlike a service, lacks direct connections to circuit conductors of any other electrical source except those established by grounding and bonding connections. Therefore, a separately derived system is an electrical source, not provided by the utility or service, it has no direct electrical connection to the service-derived system, meaning the circuit conductors of any other electrical source except those established by grounding and bonding connections. Here are a few instances of such systems. This includes standby or emergency generators where the neutral isn't linked to the utility or any other source. Also included are transformers where the primary and secondary windings are electrically isolated but magnetically linked through a common core, resulting in no direct connection between them except for grounding and bonding connections. Additionally, any other power sources that lack direct connections with other sources such as photovoltaic, PV, systems and battery converter windings also fall under this category. It's worth noting that not all transformers and generators qualify as separately derived systems. An auto transformer, for instance, features a single winding with two end terminals and one or more terminals at intermediate tap points. The segment of the winding shared by both the primary and secondary is termed the common section, thus establishing a direct connection to another source. In the case of a generator configured with three poles plus neutral, if the transfer switch utilized comprises only three poles, the neutral of the generator and other sources are linked to a common neutral. The neutral conductor is firmly interconnected to a grounded neutral conductor supplied by the service system. Therefore, to determine whether such a generator constitutes a separately derived system, it depends on the number of poles employed in the transfer switch. If only three poles are utilized, the generator is not classified as a separately derived system. However, if a four-pole transfer switch is utilized, with one pole designated for disconnecting the neutral, then the generator meets the criteria for being a separately derived system. Now that we are familiar with the separately derived system, what are the rules of their grounding and bonding? This will be the topic of discussion in the upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching.